All right, y'all. I want to keep this very, very simple. For all y'all boxing challenges out there that think it's cool for you to uh, take drugs, PEDs, or whatever before a fight, that can get people killed. This is boxing. You know what I mean? People die. I just heard a fighter die last month in boxing. And and what PEDs is an enhancer. It enhances your performance. You feel me? And if he is busted for this, which is it's clearly he don't care because he's on his channel bragging about taking the stuff. You know what I mean? And y'all putting up for him, y'all need to be censored. You know what I mean? It's a damn shame y'all channels up here agreeing with this guy. This is Big Rich, man. And and I don't care what you say about his father. His father is concerned about his son. If your son was in a boxing match and the other guy was on PEDs and, uh, and could have killed your son, you'd be saying the same thing. You know what I mean? It's a shame y'all out here still advocating for Ryan Garcia when he's up here. It's clearly out of control. You know what I mean? And, you know, it is what it is. When you get money, it changes you, just like Ryan said. You feel me? It's a damn shame that y'all sitting up here, you know, going along with this stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, people die behind this. You know what I mean? People die. You know what I mean? In boxing. And it's sad. I don't care what. Devin did the right thing. Devin did everything right. Devin made weight. Devin did everything the right way. He agreed to his contract, signed his contract. Ryan didn't. Ryan came in overweight. And it's not that it's, it's a big deal about being overweight. It's not that at all. Trust me. You know what I mean? Fighters come in overweight all the time. A pound, two pounds, whatever. Who comes in pound three to almost four pounds overweight? Okay, and then admit on camera that, you know what? I didn't even intend. To, to come in that way. So you basically, you didn't even intend to agree to the contract. You know what I'm saying? See how stupid that sounds? He needs to be sued. If I was Devin Haney and Bill Haney, I would sue Ryan. You know what I'm saying? For violation of the contract. Coming in with PEDs. You know what I mean? Coming in overweight. And then admitting. It's okay to come in overweight. But when you admit that you never had intentions on fulfilling that contract, you violated the contract. I don't care all your other boxing channels out there that hate Devin Haney. And, and, and trust me, Devin Haney has his own demons. But he's getting through it. He's a young man, just like Ryan is. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and, and I am slighting Ryan because it's like, you know, um, you know, before I was, you know what I'm saying, okay, Ryan doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Ryan did his thing in, in the ring. But now I see that, no, he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Ryan didn't do his thing. Ryan cheated. Okay, and that's what needs to be said. This is big rich man, real boxing fact. And 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 I would say I'm biased, but no, this is for all fighters. Because I just seen all fight, even Canelo, okay, got suspended for six months. You know what I mean? Now you can sit up there and try to say, oh, hair follicles, he this, that, that. Man, if you did drugs, you did drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's the bottom line. And if you was a real person, you would come out and you apologize to Devin Haney and Bill Haney and his family. You know what I'm saying? For Possibly almost killing somebody. You got to understand, Ryan Garcia got the most devastating left hook in boxing today. Do you know what that means? In boxing, that means that you can't even see the punch. So all y'all boxers out there talking about, oh, Devin, he got cut. Man, let me tell you something. Okay, when you're fighting up against someone like that, it, it only takes one second to make a mistake. And boom, it's over with. You know what I mean? But it wasn't over with. Devin went out on his shield. He never, he never, ever, he finished the fight with it, went in the 12th round after he won all those early rounds. You know what I mean? One judge had it a draw. So that tells you, you know what I'm saying, the character of Devin, even when somebody was cheating, he still, he got knocked down three times. But guess what? He never stopped fighting. You know what I'm saying? And that's my sign of a true champion. It's not about getting knocked down, you know what I'm saying, or getting hurt. Floyd been hurt, you know what I'm saying, many fights, you know what I'm saying, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. you know what I'm saying, Zab Zuda, all these guys hurt Floyd, but it wasn't about Floyd getting hurt, we all thought Floyd was, was going to be his first loss, didn't happen, you know what I'm saying, Floyd went out on the shield and won that fight, and, and hey, Devin did the same thing, you know what I'm saying, so for all y'all talking mess about Devin, oh, he's all washed up, he this and that, man, let me explain something to you, when you get hit with a punch like that, most fighters don't get up. Okay, Devin got up three times. Okay, three times. So you picture that. 
You feel me? That's a sign of a true champion. Tyson Fury got hit, right? He got almost knocked down. Okay, but the true sign of a true champion, he finished the fight. Okay, but we knew we knew what was inside of Tyson. We know now we know what's inside of Devin. And that's how y'all need to be rating these fighters as true champions. You know what I'm saying? Not cowards like like Ryan looking for an excuse or looking to say anything or just disrespect the sport, talking about you're gonna build another boxing brand. What the hell is this dude talking about? You know what I mean? I went to the press conference in LA, and I'm be honest with you. You know what I mean? I thought Ryan was on cocaine. I thought he was on something. Okay. And it looked like he never got off of it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. You know what I mean? And, and what he said, he clearly said, if you all was giving a hundred million dollars, how would you act? You probably would be on drugs too. Zach words, quote, in LA, I was there. You feel me? So all y'all sitting up there supporting this guy, this dude's a coward and he's a clown. This is Big Rich. I said it.